Okay, great. So let's start. Uh, hello, everyone. I hope you all have a pleasant and enjoyable weekend. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for attending. And thank you for fxstreet.com to give me the opportunity to speak. Um, my name is Telmo Pinto. I'm the founder and director of Market Operations at Intuition Trading Group. Uh, you can see more details uh, at fxstreet.com page on the services or at our website, intuitiontrading.com. Um, for those who are with us first time, um, we have our preview. We have our previous webinar recorded, so um, if you have any doubts or is, is preferable, you 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 attend to the previous recorded webinars in order to 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 better understand um, how I analyze the market, how I define the levels, and most important, the tools I use in order to give you the um, the levels. Okay, so before we start. Is really important to read here the disclaimer, okay? Any comments I made on the webinar, uh, they are not a solicitation to invest, and you should carefully consider your financial situation prior to making any investment. It's preferable to seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any questions or concerns. So last Friday, um, I give you some hints about how to how we can define. The, let me open here the platform. How we can define possible expansions and contractions of the of the market through creating some blocks on the rank or charts. I talk already with uh, with fx3.com uh, with mode, uh, and we we'll, we're going to have a special webinar dedicated to. Um, to to the to the group of concepts of new concepts that I present on everyday on in the money webinars, so that will be very good in order you you better even better understand uh, how you can uh, use the tools I develop I use in order you can see uh, and for yourself how to define the levels and better understand how market moves. Okay. So today we have some news from Germany. Okay, they were not good for the euro. Greece is on the is on the talk again. Portugal uh, is on the talk again because of the of the austerity measures that that the governor have implemented. They give some backs, but important was today the. The German report in the morning uh, that can be a sign of a possible recession in uh, Germany, and that will be very bad for the euro and European community. So, on the left, as you know, we have the 21 pips chart, rank of our chart. On the right, we have the 34. As you can see, this is the uh, let me put here. This is the close of the Friday, okay, of last Friday. We had here, here at this level, we had a possible enter here, but market retrace, okay. Then market goes and test that level again. Then this was very close. To the close, this was very near to the close of Friday's close, and then market went down. Okay, so the conclusions you can you can take from here and to be analyzed. I personally took this short trade here. I entered this. I close with 40 pip profits and re-enter on this test on the 34 pips. But now we have here a possible support of the market. Is the 129 area okay? Market is bouncing here, react good from the 129, but now uh, euro is not able to go through 129.20, okay? So this is very important. If market, if euro can go up to 
we can see a possible further move and test this level. Although I'm not willing, okay, I'm, I don't want to get caught on this ranging area. So for me to enter in long trade, I prefer see a break of this level. This between these lines, let me draw here a rectangle. Is better we see this way. Okay, in this area, this is no good for trading. Okay, we had here. Uh, sorry, it's not a triangle. Is a rectangle I want. We have here this confluence, this congestion area. Then market drops. Let me draw here another rectangle here. Then market drops another block of two bars. Okay. Two bars here. And then we have here a congestion of three possible bars. Okay. So this is possible too to be forming here a possible higher low of the market. But we don't know. We don't know yet, okay? What we can see is that price now is testing, really testing the 129 area. Can't go up from 129.20. And we know that 20 and 80 are very important levels for the market. So if this can go up when 129.20 is saying that most probably is going down okay although we have here a huge a huge space here okay? in order to test we have here a huge space is seven bars okay and we know that market can move in or the majority of the times better saying move in two three five seven nine 11 and 13, but 11 is, a, is an extreme situation. So we have here a possibility of market clean this area. We, uh, of course, I'm not saying that we'll go through or if you'll we'll go there, we need to go to a lower time frame in order to see where are the confluence areas in order to define, okay, market can pause here or can pause here. So to take that level, we go here and we see this ranging area here, this ranging area here. These are the test level now, OK? So we have these areas. If market break from this level, they will go to test the 128.80 area, of course, is the top of this confluence. If can break, we can have here a minor pause here at this level. And this level is 128.50 area. Then we have the 128.20. And the major support from this move is this congestion area. And why? As you can see, price go up, then go down, then go up again, then break, and then this is what I call a retest, okay? Or we can see this is a retest. Market didn't go there, but retest the breaks of the levels. We can see here the week of this bar. And we can see these those these two weeks here, market test, and then okay, define the site to break up. So the levels now, important levels, are the 129, of course. The 129.20, if C market can break, and then the 128.80, and these levels here I define, okay, 128.80, small pause at 128.50. And then 120, uh, uh, sorry, 
then 12820, uh, and then this major support here is the 128 level. Okay, if if market decide to go down from here, probably most probably will go to 128. In order to go up, I really prefer to see a break of this level, the 13020, in order to enter long. I know this is a 100 pips range, okay, but this 100 pips market go, for instance, can go up here, then go down, and is at these levels that most of the traders lose money because. These levels are preferable for institutionals and banks to clean the orders, okay? To clean the market, clean the order book. So let's open here the order book and see what what you can tell us. Let me put here English, okay? Have here USD, Net, and Zoom. Okay, so we have here at the beginning the, op the Sunday opening, market went down, went down, went down, and now we are here at this level. And what happening in this level is that uh, sellers appear here at 129 and below 129 yet. So this is a uh, this is a level. W where buyers decide, okay, my trade is no longer valid, my long trade is no longer valid, and I'm willing to go short from here. <clears throat> Sorry. And as you can see, the stops here on the open orders, let me show here only the open orders so we can see better the stops. We have the stops from the buyers, below 129.80. So if market break the 129.80, can go to 129.50 or uh, 128.50, sorry, and 128.20. So 128.80 are the levels where the stops are now, okay? From the other side, the sellers that appears on the market that decide, okay, I'm willing to accept this trade, and go short from here. They are above 129.20 dear, then 129.50, then 129.80. So let me put here the positions only. So we see here this blue on the left, uh, this blue on the left show the short side. The sellers appear here, okay, and they are willing to, okay, this will be a small stop, okay, 20, 50, 80 pips, and the stops are above the market. What happening, what usually happening is market will clean these orders in order to define which way will go. I'm not telling that market will go up from here. But the majority of the times, market will clean these orders before go down, further down. In this case, further down. Or can clean the orders, more sellers appear in the market and create new levels of stops here above the 130 and then go up. Okay. From the long-term traders, we saw this 132.50 level are the area where they are willing to, okay, give up from the short trade. But this level we, we have seen all past week. So these stops, we can assume that they are from long, from position on traders, better say. These more close to the market are the day traders or the swing traders that are here trying to figure out and collect some pips, okay, and prefer to have the stop loss closer to the market. Mike Chandel, what do you feel determines direction 
after cleaning has been completely. Uh, well, uh, I def um, uh, the levels I see on the Renko chart are really important. Okay, let me explain. If I see oh, or if we see here a up move from the level we are now, a cleaning of the stop still 129.80, and market can't break the 130 level. I can assume this was clear your stop hunting, okay, or clear the order book for further down move. In other hand, if we see a, a clean of these orders and market can hold the 129.80, pass the 130, test the 130.20, and then create some support at 130, we can determine that, okay, market clean the orders but are willing to go up. And then I have, uh, I have the confirmation of the Renko bar chart. Is that okay, Michael? Uh, Mike, sorry. So this is how I determine the direction because uh, you know that the trading uh, is a, a probability. Okay, so we have to, to put the probabilities on our side. This is the interpretation I make from the charts and from the order book. Okay, so let's move. So this is <coughs> so this is the level that, in my opinion, will determine all week. Okay, the past week we have a, 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 a bearish week. Okay, uh, after two strong uptrends week. Um, the 130, 20, 130, 130, 20 will determine, okay, if Euro will go further up and test uh, what some analysis says, uh, the 135, okay? But that we don't know because we don't have uh, any clues about that or market. We are talking about 600 pips and we don't have ear on the order book, neither on the charts information to that level. So, uh, and... Uh, like I used to say, we don't need to know what market will do tomorrow in order we collect some pips and make some money. Okay, we need to focus on what we can see now. Okay, if you if you need to know what market will do tomorrow, we will probably have uh, um, a, we probably have a congestion of indicators and sentiments and news that will not will not, uh, better say, will uh, will not giving, give you the opportunity to pull the trigger and enter in the trade. That's why I prefer to keep it simple. I use the price section, I use the order book, because uh, price is what defines the market. And why price? Because I'm a trader, uh, you are a trader, everyone that are an important role on the market are traders, investors. And is that who makes the movements of the market? So the price is the only leading indicator we can have. MACD, stochastics, uh, CCIs, they are not leading indicators at all. Okay, the only leading indicator we have is the price because the price uh, the price movement will give through formulas those indicators but if the price moves so fast the indicators can't react to a fastest market or a fast market okay so let's go here to the platform so we can see So as you see, another test, let me open here while I was talking, let's open here the one minute chart. We have another test at the 20 level here. Okay, this is a one minute chart. Just to show you how market react to the one minute chart, to, to, to the 20 level. They try to go again and then go down. So the twin, the 129.20 is an important level to watch now. 
if market if you are a day trader okay the 129.20 is really important now jack price action do you mean the renko bars go up and down renko or renko level price go through uh the 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 price itself check okay renko's uh, i use renko's and i prefer to use renko uh in order we can define the blocks it is a block okay this is a block of the this is a block this is another block this is three bars block this is probably a seven bars block okay but uh i prefer to use renko to avoid uh the noise of the market okay and you can see here for instance on the Renko this is a clear up move from here from here since this level this is a clear up move okay these are small retracements these are small retracements this is a break another break and a congestion area so I prefer to use the Renko uh, in order to put me out of the north of the market let me here for instance new charts of four hours let me put them by my size okay this is a four hour chart this is a four hour on the right we have a four hour chart on the left we have the rank of our chart for instance this move here <coughs> sorry this move here we have here this retracement okay on the market we can think okay market at this level to enter short here was more clearly on the on the Renko chart because we know okay market was accumulating we see here market was accumulating here then break okay they can I'm willing to take the trade in order to go at least to this congestion area okay to enter here for instance if you decide to enter on this bar on this four hours bar here this bar here okay market retrace at once from those four up moves on the Renko this is more smooth okay of course we have the weeks we analyze the weeks of the of the um, of the bars in order to define possible levels but it's preferable in my opinion okay I I love to see these Renko charts okay I'm trading in Renko charts about eight years now okay that I'm watched to rank or charts previously uh, I trade the futures um, market with uh, volume charts okay because volume determines the trend to more volume in an up move uh, the market moves but when I begin to study the rank or chart I okay I'm a passion for the rank or charts they put me out completely from the noise of the market what is important on the Renko charts and most people that see the Renko charts don't like at all are these moves here for instance let me close the okay it's better that when one pips we see better there I explain this but no problem I can explain again in order to see how we can use the Renko charts even on range okay this this is a good now let me okay this is a good in this area okay for instance here the investors that trades with the Renko chart okay they don't like it because market go up go down go up go down go up go down you can see here one bar up one bar down one bar up one bar down what we can see on this this is a clear congestion area and we can see that after when break was a strong down move in this case okay the purists of the Renko say that when we see two opposite bars 
the trend reverse. Okay, that is not true at all. Because we can have two down bars, more two up bars, more two down bars, more two up bars, and we are in a range, uh, and that will, okay, we lost all your profits in that move. What I study was a way to see how we can avoid that level or that congestion. And the way is let market breathe, breath, sorry, let market breath, and waiting for the gaining of amplitude. And the gaining of amplitude is simple. We have here a down move, we have here a up move. I will only took my short trade again if I see a break of this level. I will only go long if I see a break of this level. Between these two areas, I will do nothing. Okay? Because market is this congestion, I prefer to see a clear break and go with the break than be inside a ranging area and, okay, and buy on the tops and sell on the lows. Okay? But I will go do a webinar, a special webinar, uh, where I will explain further deep all this concept. Okay, in order we can clearly see or you can clearly see how to trade or how to develop your system with a ranker chart or adapt it to your current system. Okay, so let's see your questions. Mike, do you feel same dynamics occur in stock trading? Yes, uh, you can use rank of charts uh, on every market, okay? Uh, ETFs trading, futures, uh, okay, bonds, stock market, you can use it in every market. Although, what is important is you can detect the amplitude of the movement. For instance, I detect that the 21 and 34 pips are very good for the Forex market. For the future, for the ES trading, okay, the S&P 500 trading, the 1.5 and 2.75 are very good rank of our charts, okay, to the market. So you need to, to define uh, or you need to see the amplitude of the market in order you define or spot a, bet, uh, a good rank. I don't like, for instance, to use 20 pips or 40 pips or 50 pips or on the future for instance, uh, one point or uh, two points because those levels are the imbalance levels of the market. Okay, and we know on the uh, and imbalance, mar uh, imbalance levels uh, the, the the big players are there to catch the stops. Okay? So that's why I prefer to see um, or define the amplitude. Uh, you can you can see that by averaging the, the the average to range for instance, okay? And see uh, and detect a pattern like for instance put a moving average of the average to range and define a pattern of the swings of the cycles. Okay. Jack one. Okay, got rank or chart, so consolidation block, rank or chart, continue up bars, show good trend move. Um depends. Okay. For instance, now let me put here we are almost finishing here the time, but I will only more two minutes, okay, if Vicky and Mode allow me more two minutes only to answer this question. Uh, so, for instance, now we have here a consolidation here. If we see a further down move or, or, for instance, a break of this level, we can expect further down move. Although, as always, we can expect that the market, uh, okay, okay, Mos, I uh, will finish here, uh, that the market uh, will go further down. Uh, from here, okay. So you need to 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 with the order book. You need to define the levels where we 
where we want to be on the market and where we don't want to be on the market, okay? So I will explain that later too. Can record shows where the liquidity? No, Jack, that, that is not possible. Okay. Um, what range do you use for rank of charts? Call in error, I use 21 pips and 34 pips. Okay, uh, sorry guys, I need to, to, to finish here. I will continue uh, analyzing this tomorrow. Uh, so I hope you all enjoy the, the session and hope you see you all tomorrow. Thank you very much for attending and have a rest of nice day. Okay, thank you. Bye.